but now the bride is coming down the aisle, you guys. Okay, everyone is getting in the way right now. This is not your time, Prince James. Go sit, you will have your turn. Hello everyone, we are back with another episode of The Royal Family. And to start with, look at this guys. This is our newly renovated, AKA brand new Willow Creek Royal Palace. This was made by one of my patrons, Lily, and her username is in the description below. It is uploaded to her gallery and you can find everything there. It's amazing you guys lily makes builds so quickly just in like a few hours it's crazy and she made this one all from the base game i didn't make as many like i was supposed to replace some of the furniture with my own stuff from expansion pack so make sure you check out her gallery id name in the description below and download this because it's amazing in this episode we are going to be having the royal wedding of brindleton bay i am about to show you quickly just a quick tour of the royal palace of willow creek and if we have time i want to age up the royal twins makana and samaria of sulani that's only going to be if we have time though so we'll just have to see oh dear lord it is snowing a lot okay so yeah it's actually getting darker because there's a snowstorm now oh my god you can't see anything okay well let's go ahead and just lighten up the weather a little bit so let's make it sunny and freezing so the beautiful snow still stays although little flurries of snow is still pretty nice but it's okay this this will be fine so let's just have it lighten up a little bit so it's actually sunny so you guys can see the palace okay there we go you guys obviously are seeing this when it is snowing look at this just main courtyard entrance this is amazing i had so much trouble with landscaping for the palace of windenburg and lily just did it effort this is just gonna be very quick because I want to get to some other stuff, but this is the first floor So we have the foyer here. This Lily had as a mix between a living room slash throne room I just wanted to put the portraits on the wall So I just cleared out the windows and just to add some more space I was going to add something else. I forgot what it was, but I was doing a family portrait in here before So that's why I cleared out a lot of like a few things I think I cleared out like the chess table and piano and a few bookshelves, but I made a family portrait of the Willow Creek royal family with Prince Louis and Corinne and their kids. So I was trying to get them to sit on a couch or a chair, but the pose player doesn't work for me. It like shows a red X every time I try to click on it. I'm like not able to click on the little statue thing. I've already tried to update it. I've tried everything. Nothing seems to work, but I got them to pose on the floor. So hopefully it looks okay, but I think it's really, really cute. And then I know in a few, epi a few episodes ago, I mentioned or I asked if you guys wanted me to share a lot of my screenshots so you guys could see someone suggested doing a slideshow I think a video of it and showing that so I might do that but then I'll make it accessible to you guys too I'll just figure out the best way to do that so that will be coming in the next few weeks so we got a living room here the dining area and then we have where did it go oh yeah the kitchen over here and then upstairs we had a little nursery so she had four toddler beds when Genevieve and Cornelius they oh incoming call from Princess Belle <gasps> yes okay oh she's calling to say hi to her dad that's so cute so then we have a bedroom here and then another one also here so I might just kind of put custom content in the bedrooms because I like my custom content and also my beds just from other packs. As you can see, I put like the Get Famous bed over here and then I put the Realm of Magic bed here because it looked really good, but this is the master bedroom and it's super cool. And there's like a whole piano room here and I can turn this into a music room. Yeah, that's our brand new Willow Creek Palace. It looks amazing. Oh wait, who did she just spread gossip about? About Queen Cora. You're calling your father to spread gossip about your mother? <laughs> I feel like that's kind of rude. Princess Belle wouldn't do that. Princess Belle is so sweet and so innocent and we love her. She was probably just asking if something was true maybe, even though she knows it's not because it's her mother. She trusts her mother. Oh, and I did finally get a portrait of Queen Ava. Someone was saying, what did they say? I think they were saying that it's gonna be the next generation by the time you get a portrait of Queen Ava, which I thought was kind of funny. So that pushed me to actually do it a little bit. Okay, anyway, we are going to be now going to the Brindleton Bay Palace. I'm trying to think of the best time to do this, but 
I actually am having the wedding at the palace. If you saw my wedding royal makeover video that I just posted, I mentioned kind of what we're doing, but we're doing both the ceremony and the reception at the palace. I was thinking of having them do it at the lighthouse where King Jared and Queen Nina eloped, but I couldn't make the lighthouse look nice enough, so I ended up just doing it at the palace. I might actually have Johan and Sidira try for a baby after the wedding, but I kind of also want Kellen and Megan to try for a baby. I know I said in the last episode it would be a while. Maybe I will wait one more episode or so before they try for a baby, but I really want Johan and Sadira to try for one. Okay, so I'm going to plan the wedding. Okay, so we are now ready for the wedding. All of our guests have come, so I'll show you guys what I set up here. I've tried to lock all the doors, so I locked any door that didn't lead to the areas they were supposed to be because I hate when just you have a party and sims are just everywhere in the house or everywhere on the venue that they shouldn't be. So I locked all the doors except for like the bathroom and the reception space and the ceremony space. This is our ceremony space. I love it. I think it's really cool. It took me forever to do this. This is why I didn't really have time to renovate the Willow Creek Palace because because I was just doing this so much. I've gotten very particular about my wedding venues just because I work at a banquet hall where we do have a lot of weddings and I just like making every wedding a little bit different. So I thought this had a different feel to it and I love the chandeliers, their custom content. I'm not sure if they're on my on my Pinterest board. Any custom content it or should be on my Pinterest board, which is in the description below, but I will try to add that if I remember or if I can find it again. Hopefully I can. Okay, but we are going to start the royal wedding. So we're going to have them get married and then we are going to, I'll show you the reception space afterward. I always like watching it from this point of view, just watching the bride come down the aisle. Although all of the guests are going to come in behind her, aren't they? That's okay. We'll make it work. But now the bride is coming down the aisle, you guys. Okay, everyone is getting in the way right now. No, no, I don't want to miss this. Are you serious? This is not your time, Prince James. You go, go sit. You will have your turn. Oh, guys, they're so cute. Sadira looks gorgeous. They're adorable. And I do love this backdrop. It looks really good, too. I love the colors. I love the red at this wedding. Okay, they are now putting the rings on. I'm so excited for them, you guys. I think I do want them to try for kids. <gasps> oh gosh. I know they do like the same exact thing every single wedding, like the same animations, but every single time it's so cute. I just love all of our characters so much. Okay, they're now officially married. What happened to our guests? What were they doing? I know there's a mod for people to sit during like while they eat, which I did not download yet. I meant to, but I need to do that as soon as possible. I should have done it for this wedding, actually. I don't know if there's a mod for people to sit during wedding receptions that or wedding ceremonies. That would be really nice. Look how beautiful Sadira looks. You know what? I got her another dress to wear during the reception, but it was a little bit too revealing, I think. And I talked about it in the makeover create a sim video. And she just looks so beautiful right now. I don't really want her to change. I think she, I think this is perfect for her. I was a little bit worried that it would look too similar to some of the other wedding dresses, but I don't really think it does. I mostly just do ball gowns for the princesses just because I feel like it's super fitting. Although I know like, in real life, like with the royal weddings, they were not wearing big ball gown wedding dresses. I feel like they missed on an opportunity. I, I want my wedding dress to be a big ball gown. Okay, I think people are getting hungry. So that's our ceremony space. Man, it, you take so much time to do this and it's in the video for like five seconds. Well, like a little bit more than that, but still. For our reception space, this is what I did. And I'm actually very familiar with these chair covers and sashes because we use them all the time at work for weddings and other events too. These are custom content. I can definitely put that on my Pinterest board for you guys to see. I have like a section. Is it under mod? No, I think I have a section for just furniture on my Pinterest board. So you guys can find it there. It was so perfect. I was like imagining these chairs and envisioning it. I had just such a thing in mind that I wanted it to look like and I'm so glad that it gets close. I wanted a little bit more on the walls. Some of the walls are just a little bit bare so I tried to add as much as I could but I think it's pretty close. So it's nice too because 
you don't actually have to have a caterer and wait for a caterer to make a bunch of food. We have food here, almond macaroons. That sounds really good. And I did two wedding cakes. No, oh, there's supposed to be a mod that doesn't let people sit in your chair so you can actually claim chairs and claim thrones. And I should have done that. I should have done that for this wedding, you guys. Oh shoot. It would be really great if you could assign seating to others too. That would be very convenient just for wedding purposes. But yeah, I have like these round tables. The tablecloth is custom content. It was kind of just like an ugly black table underneath that. Oh, now Sadira is sitting down. I feel like people are gonna sit in her chair though. I should have downloaded the mod. I downloaded other mods. I downloaded the first love mod. So now the kids can have very like small, sweet, innocent, romantic react or interactions, not reactions. I also downloaded the better butlers mod. So I'll show that to you guys eventually. I am working on a video that'll show you guys my favorite mods. So I will be coming out with that pretty soon. I just want to experience these mods first to make sure that I want to put them on that list. Yay, I finally got them both to sit, you guys. I don't know how long they're going to stay there, but I got him there and I'm getting a few pictures, even though Yohan is like stuffing his face right now. But Sidira looks so beautiful, you guys. I think she looks amazing. We have some of the kids here too. So we have here Princess Kimberly, which I don't think you guys got to see her much in the last episode. I think I showed you her. And then of course, Cornelius. This is Princess Anya. And then Princess Corinne. She looks gorgeous. I think this might just be her dress that she wears when she becomes queen. I love it so much. I did kind of want to give her like a queenly makeover, but I feel like this is honestly fine. It, it's my favorite dress on her, I think. And then we have Prince James here and we have Lord Ian here too. So this is the first event that they have been at together. I feel like I need to go wedding shopping again for more dresses just for future weddings. I want Amir's wedding dress to be perfect and I have to find the perfect one. Even though we have some really great ones, it's kind of hard to go wrong. And then we have Princess Megan here too. I do want her and Kellen to try for a baby soon. We have our little gift table over here. We've got our bar. Oh my gosh, I love having them all sit at the table together though, you guys. Like, this is just so cute. It's like Queen Nina, Queen Nea, King Henry. <laughs> And just Princess Anya, I guess, too. She's just sitting in on the conversation with all the rulers. I do need to change Lord Ian's outfit. I do want Prince James to propose to him soon. I just feel like the right time is probably not at his brother's wedding. So maybe we'll do that soon, though. But just some updates on some people. So Princess Amira, she is spending a lot of time on her studies. Her and Jabari are friends, and so are her and Makai. Jabari still has a huge crush on her, but Amira is making sure to take some time just to herself. She's been through a lot. We also have Lady Ezra here. This is Sadira's older sister. She's the oldest one. And I think her sister Aurora should be somewhere here too. Aurora has actually been dating Makai's younger brother, Kona, for a very long time. So I think they're going to be getting engaged and married pretty soon as well. Oh, I did not lock this door. This is where a lot of people are. Oh yeah, here's Lady Aurora, although she's in her coat. But yeah, this is Lady Aurora. She is the one in a relationship with Kona. And then we have Prince Charles. Oh gosh, I do really want to, maybe we will focus more. I think we will. We'll focus more on the kids in the next episode. So that way I can use the first love mod. And I'm so excited to do that. We also have Princess Belle. Her daughter should actually be aging up pretty soon too. Oh, okay. And then Charles is just like walking through a counter over here. I'm not doing the cake. I didn't end up making a cake, but I did display fake cakes. So this is also custom content. I think it's called like a rustic wedding mod or custom content pack or something like that. But yeah, I mean, I feel like I put so much work into the rooms and just the decorations of things and like we don't get to do very much. I mean, they got married. I'll probably keep it like this for a while just so I can take a lot of pictures. But I think I am going to, oh, I don't want to end this, but I think I am, I'm going to end this and then we're going to have them try for a baby. And I'm so excited for them to do that. It's just so beautiful, but people have to use the bathroom. And I have people like kids sleeping out on the couch in the foyer. So I should probably end this. Yeah, everyone's doing like a bathroom walk. I just love this so much. It reminds me of my work. I hate that they like beg for food and say they're hungry. Although, oh, I guess all the, did all the, oh, all the food went bad. Ooh. 
we should hire a maid. Oh, and I did finally figure out the Sunday markets thing. I think that it just wasn't included in the test folder that I had when I, cause I had gotten an early release, but it's in the actual folder. Like when you download it now for the royalty mod. So I did, and now I am able to name a place like the Sunday market trait and the venue place. So I will be able to show you guys that when the next Sunday comes, but let's go ahead and end the wedding. So everyone is super tired and partied out. This is going to be a huge mess. I don't know. I think with the better butler mod, they will actually clean a lot better. Like they'll actually clean. All right, so Sadira and Johan are now going to try for a baby. Oh, guys, they can't try for a baby because I already have eight in the house with the dogs. That's, oh, that's why I didn't want to get pets for all the royal families. Well, shoot, do we need three dogs? I feel really bad giving the up one right now. Just thinking about that makes me really sad because I have a dog and I love my dog so much. I'm going to go into manage worlds. Maybe we can give one of the dogs to family members. Okay, yeah, why don't we give one of the dogs to Princess Anna or Lady Sadira's family, basically? Basically. Where's Princess Anna's family? Um, why don't we give one to Prince Kellen actually? That's Princess Anna's cousin, or Princess, or no, Lady Sadira's cousin. Oh shoot, Cairo or Noodle? Those are such different names. <laughs> well, let's give them Noodle. We'll get to see Noodle often. It'll be okay. Cause I didn't even expect their dog Cinnamon to have puppies and then she just did. And Cinnamon has lived forever. Like she's gotta be like 20 years old for a dog. Maybe even more than that, honestly. Okay, now Sadira and Johan can try for a baby. Oh, it just kind of makes me sad thinking about the fact that we gave the, do the dog away. No, it's okay. We gave it to a family member, like the family, Kellen and Megan, although they travel a lot. I'm thinking way too much into this. Okay, guys, they are trying for a baby. I'm pretty sure this is Johan's first time woohooing. I'm pretty sure Amira hasn't woohooed ever either. I, th I think that's true. Oh, I asked them to try for a baby in Johan's bed, but now they're in the butler's bed. <laughs> this is a really nice room for a butler, actually. I don't think I'm gonna make it the butler's bed. I think I'm going to expand the castle and the dog's barking at them. But I think I'm going to expand the castle, make a basement, and then have the butler sleep in the basement. Okay, so they just tried for a baby. So now I have to see if Sadira is pregnant. I really hope she is. I'm so excited, you guys. Okay. Now Sadira is taking her pregnancy test. She's pregnant, you guys. She's honestly, she's so cute. She looks like her mother too. Okay, so Sadira is now telling Johan that she's pregnant. I'm so excited for them, you guys. I, I don't know if I finished my thought earlier, but basically what I was saying is that I do not think Johan is going to name his first daughter after May. I think that is being left up to Amira. I think Amira is going to be having kids, although she is waiting to get married and waiting to have kids. Kids, which is totally fine. But yeah, they're going to wait. Amira's going to wait. I have a huge list of name suggestions for baby names for Sadira and Johan. So I can only pick one, maybe two or three if we have twins or triplets. Kind of hoping we don't though, just because there's so many kids. And the Brindleton Bay Palace is not that big. So I can only limit myself a little bit. That's why they only had two kids. But I am super excited for Johan and Sadira. And I am so excited to see what their child's going to look like too. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. In the next episode, we are going to get to focus on the children and see if any crushes develop. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, hit that like button. If you have not already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you never miss another video. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.